30 Helens agree. Love hurts! He'll break your heart, honey. 30 Helens agree. Love hurts. Sketch comedy. What is it? What is required? The first thing that is needed for a comedy sketch is a premise. How about a what if premise? What if a man awoke one morning to discover his chest had been colonized by Spain? I claim this chest in the name of Spain. The premise has been established. The comedic possibilities are inherent. All that is needed for this scene to progress is a conflict. I claim this chest in the name of France. French, my chest, my chest, my, my chest. The conflict has been set in motion. The scene is doing extremely well. Happy birthday to you. But it's not my birthday. I swear it's no, not. It's your... All that is required now for this to be a fully formed and well-rounded comedy sketch is a resolution. I'm no. telling you, I circled it. I don't think so, no. because I'm a cancer, and it's not... Scram, Spain! Ooh. Shake a leg, France! Why, I ought to Ooh. sell your eyes to my angry sister. In this. <laughs> They're gone, friend. But I claim this chest for Mother Russia. Good morning. <laughs> Notice the mug to the audience. This indicates that the punchline has been delivered. This is generally followed by a blackout. Thirty Helens agree. Honesty is the best policy. If you cheat on your wife, really, aren't you only cheating yourself? I should know. I've been married for 12 years, adding up all my marriages. If a guy won't tell you where he lives, watch out. Or if he owns his own pool cue. 30 Helens agree. Honesty is the best policy. so good. Maybe I'll have the lobster and the steak. Uh, the appetizers are good here. The fry camembert at $4.95 is excellent and filling. Well, there are my hips. Maybe I'll just have a salad. Thanks. Why won't you let me forget that I have a cabbage for a head? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I didn't mean it that way at all. I'm sorry. I guess I've just been touchy about things since birth. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay. I guess you'll have to make it up to me by <laughs> sleeping with me then. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Yeah, kidding. Uh, the lady will have a bowl of gin, no ice. We don't have time for it to melt. <laughs> and I'll have a rum and rye. And could you garnish that with a couple of Tums? What a manly drink. Yes, I'm having such strong feelings about you that I'm having trouble with my gut. That's horribly romantic. Oh. I have something to tell you. I know I've only known you an hour, but I love you. Would you get out of here? I'm trying to talk. I love you. Wow, the words felt so purifying. I've never uttered them to anyone before. Well, before noon. Really? Yeah, really. What's with the third degree? <laughs> oh, sorry. My emotions are making me testy. Listen, I just don't want to be alone tonight. Although I do want to be alone when I wake up, if you know what I'm saying. I thought you were different. I am. Look at my head. <laughs> I'm tired of talking about your head, frankly. <laughs> oh. This isn't working, is it? No, it isn't, frankly. I mean, sometimes you go out on a date with someone and it's like magic. Other times, it sucks. Yes, exactly. Yes. I think we're both adults. I think we both know the adult thing to do would be to cut our losses. 100%. We'll forego the expensive dinner yes. and just have sex in the can. Uh, ooh, I mean the ladies' room. Pardon my French. I think I'm gonna go home now. What? I paid for your bus fare. You owe me. Goodbye. Come on, baby. One ride deserves another. Once you go green, you'll never go back. The service drove my mademoiselle away. Helga Foisy. That's my mother's name. Listen, Helga. How about a date? I'm sorry, I have a rule about dating creeps. And what is that rule? No. Helga, I could just live between your breasts. And I don't mean that in a sexist way. Can I get a towel, a lettuce spinner? You! I ask you, I blame you. Get out of here! Why didn't you play something sexy, like Shaft? Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll turn your attention to center field, the children of the farm belt, inspired by the impact of technology on their lives, spontaneously and without rehearsal, salute the tractor. There they go, America's youngest and finest. Let's give them a big hand.
party, huh? I actually don't know anyone at the party, actually. I'm kind of new to the neighborhood, actually. But my friend Chris said, come to the party. I'll introduce you around. You'll know everybody by the time you leave the party. Chris knows everybody, and soon I'll know everybody. Of course, Chris didn't show up. So I guess I got to mingle. So here I am mingling. Of course, mingling really isn't my game. I'm not really a mingler, per se. I was actually in the corner alone mingling. <laughs> that, means, that means I'm not talking to anyone, actually. I saw you over here. I said, there's a guy by himself. Why don't I go over here? I'll mingle with this guy. This guy looks like a mingler. So, hi, I'm Derek. Pleased to meet you. Well, it certainly is a pleasure to meet you, Derek. <laughs> I'm sorry if I bothered you. Oh, no, you're not bothering me, Derek. Far from it. There's nothing I would rather do than just stand here and chat with you. You know, really get to know you. Look, I don't think there's any need to be sarcastic. Oh, I'm not being sarcastic. No. This is just a little speech impediment. I can't help it. Okay, I've obviously said or done something wrong to upset you. I'm just going to apologize and be on my way. No, no, no. Please stay. It's true. I've talked this way all my life. It's made things very difficult for me. Yeah, right. Hey, where are you going? Come back. I really want to be your friend. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> they say that blacks are inferior because they like to dance and screw around. Excuse me? I love to dance. And as far as I'm concerned, screwing is next to godliness. And I'm the smartest person I know. They say that Orientals are superior because they're better at math and have smaller families. I guess that's why there's only a billion people in China. <laughs> I mean, I'm certainly not having any children. Yet I don't hear a lot of people running around touting the superiority of faggots. <laughs> well, just me. <laughs> they say that whites are smarter than blacks, but dumber than orientals. I guess we're just right. <laughs> we're the porridge that Goldilocks chose. Not too hot like those saucy Africans, but not too cold like those chilly Chinese. <laughs> they say that heterosexuals are better than homosexuals because we're so promiscuous. I guess that means we're also black. <laughs> it makes sense, because we can really dance. And boy, do we understand the blues. People make fun of me because I lisp. Really, such a lot of fuss over a few extra S's. <laughs> they say that every different group has their own language. For example, fags say things like girl and sister, and what's her problem? Another example, another example, foxy black mamas. They say things like girl and sister, and what's her problem? Makes you think. <laughs> and straight men say things like no, and too expensive, and touchdown, and score. <laughs> They're so together. <laughs> so let's recap, shall we? Blacks are inferior because they supposedly commit more crime and test lower in white people's IQ tests. Hmm, I don't know about you, but if I was raised in the ghetto, I'd be out there ripping off Whitey and forgetting the capital of Maine. <laughs> and Orientals aren't supposed to be as sexually driven as blacks or whites. Hmm, I guess all those tourists who flock to the flesh pots of Bangkok are there for the food. <laughs> 
and blacks because they apparently have larger than usual genitalia are called stupider and orientals because they supposedly have smaller than usual genitalia are called smarter not cheated <laughs> And whites, again, have perfect wieners and buns. <laughs> I guess we're just smart enough. Smart enough to stay out of trouble, but too dumb to run convenience stores. <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss is all about. We're all just here to find love. I just think the world would be a lot better place if the scientists could keep their slide rules in their pants. <laughs> It reminds me of something that Yoko Ono once said to Malcolm X in a bistro in Rome. Oh, the food's terrible, but the waiter's hilarious. Thirty Helens agree. You can't pay too much for a good pair of shoes. <laughs> Sensible shoes make sense. I spend a lot of time on my feet, and these make it a lot easier. My God, your feet are what you walk on. Thirty Helens agree. You can't pay too much for a good pair of shoes. I'll uh, see your five mm -hmm. and raise your five. Okay. I ante and I fold. Okay. <laughs> I'll see your ten and raise your five. So that's fifteen to me? Yep. Yep. Okay, I'll see the fifteen and I'll raise five. Okay. Okay, I'll see the twenty and I'll raise twenty. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Very good, sir. Okay, I'll fold. I'll <laughs> fold. Uh, I'm still folded. <laughs> I'll see you 20 and call. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, a pair of shoes. Unbelievable. You're, it? you're the That's worst it. bluffer in the history well, of poker. Now, now that we all know I'm in bed. My well, grandmother could tell well, you were bluffing. Well, why don't we shut up then? <laughs> why don't we just shut up? Okay, everyone knows I can't Read him and weep. I wish I could weep. My deal? Yeah. Yeah. So are you in or out of this one? I want more of your money. Just give me a minute. Come on, are you in or out? Just give me a minute. Are you in or Would you out? Just give me a minute. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Having your period? <laughs> <laughs> well, what if I was, huh? Do you want to step outside? Hey. No. I just want to have a period, that's all. Just one a month, okay? Come on, guys. Why? Might help a guy organize his time. Yeah. <laughs> Each month, I'd feel my body become fertile, and I'd say, no, I choose not to have a baby. Oh, rent's due. Yeah. Well, that'd be, uh... That'd be pretty ridiculous, you know, because I hear menopause is ugly. Oh? Yeah. Really? Yes. I heard it's great. What? Yeah, I heard it's like taking ecstasy in a rocket ship ride, all rolled into one. What? Oh, I heard. And I heard that you don't know well, what talking about. Well, we will never know, will we? Deal. 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 I, uh, I ran into Arlene the other day. Oh, yeah, Arlene. Hey, which one's Arlene again? Yeah, Arlene, Arlene. you know, with the big tits. Oh, right. I wish my girlfriend had tits like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> I wish I had tits like that. <laughs> Breasts like that. Uh, why? I don't know, to give milk or whatnot. <laughs> Nurture another living thing. I don't know, lots of reasons. Yeah, I understand, yeah. I understand. Yeah, well, I'll tell you this, you get in a lot of trouble if your foreman caught you breastfeeding on the loading dock, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, then I'd just have to get a job at a more enlightened warehouse. Yeah, you don't need them. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. You know, Arlene's having a baby. Yeah? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that's right. She says it's a boy. Oh? No, no ultrasound. She just knows. Really? Wow. So cool. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'd like to have a baby. <laughs> What would you want a baby for? I'm bored. Oh, <laughs> good reason. You would be such a rotten mother. You would be such a rotten, rotten mother. I'm so bad. <laughs> what?
my God! You would. You'd be a horrible mother. Do you want to know who would be a good mother? Yeah, who? I would be a good mother. Mm. Bull. No, you would make a great wet nurse. <laughs> Howard would make a great mother. Howard? Yeah, Howard. Why Howard? Well, think about it. Howard. I'm nurturing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw that rubber plant from college. You're kidding. That thing was like... Like this big when you got it. That's right. And how big is it now? 6'2". Wow. I just wouldn't have the patience. You need patience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Let's play cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please. All right. Jeez. Okay, gents. I'd like to be a dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> Don't be crass. I meant that. I'd like to be buried in the sisterhood of women. Yeah. Lesbians are so great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They get so much done in a day. Yeah. yeah. You know why? Because they get it done together. There's yeah. no competition. Yeah. With them, it's go team all yeah. the way. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Women together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is that women with a Y? Oh, do you have to ask? Jeez. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, forgot to call Wild. Oh, no. What do you want, Wild? Uh, Put your cards in. Twos. Oh, uh, threes, five, sevens. Eights and tens. Uh, face cards. Okay, everything's wild. Okay, play for the great. ante. What do you got? Uh, five aces. Five aces. Five aces. Five aces. I got nothing. What do you mean? You can't have nothing. I got nothing. Everything's wild. Well, I got nothing. No, he's right. He's got nothing. He's got what nothing. a hand. You were the worst player.